What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my Players Cup 2 Qualifiers Team Builder Review or I guess Team Breakdown, that, that's what you call it. I feel like I've been doing YouTube forever and I still don't know what to call these videos. Team Breakdown. So if you don't know, recently the Players Cup Qualifiers IC online tournament happened. Uh, it was this previous weekend and it was three days where you could play 15 games each day. And depending on your rating, if you had a high enough rating, you would qualify for the next stage of the Players Cup 2, which is a actual tournament uh, as opposed to this online ladder tournament. So I decided to make my team building session private and it was it ended up being a Patreon exclusive, which if you don't know, you get an extra video at the end of the week, every week for $1 a month on, on my Patreon. Uh, but I ended up deciding that I would bring back an old classic. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you, that is a Thievul on my team builder, and it is probably one of my favorite Pokemon of all time at this point, just because it's it's a Pokemon that I feel like I've been pioneering, uh, and a lot of people have been picking up as they see me use it to success. Uh, overall, this team got me, I believe my record was uh, 18 and 6 or 19 and 6 and I ended up at a rating at a rating of 1666 or 616th overall in the world and you need top 256 to actually qualify for the players cup but that's within North America my world ranking was 600 or er, was 616th so there's a pretty good chance that I actually qualified for players cup a lot of people are saying yeah you, you definitely did so I'm just gonna say that I definitely qualified uh, but yeah, uh, this team will be one that will go down in the books, probably my favorite team of all time. So if you guys are excited to uh, hear how I you know, built this team and the general ideas behind it, uh, go ahead, leave a like and comment down below who your favorite member of the team is. But let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, the first member of this team is probably, you know, it, it's one half of the two stars of the team. It's Indeedee. So Indeedee is carrying the Choice Scarf with Expanding Force, Hyper Voice, Mystical Fire, Dazzling Gleam. Uh, it's got 36 HP, 252 special attack, and 220 speed with a modest nature. Uh, that hits 143 speed, which means that at plus one, which is the Choice Scarf, I'm actually going to be outspeeding Jolly Dragapult, which is pretty much the upper end of what you're going to be facing in this format, because it was a Series 5 tournament. Uh, it'll allow me to outspeed that and hit it with Expanding Force, which is a super powerful move if you don't know. I'm running Modest Max Special Attack off of a 105 base special attack. That's a very powerful move. Uh, expanding Force becomes 160 power instead of the, <laughs> or yeah, instead of the uh, usual booster. Is it, what is it? 1.5 times power. Yeah, it's it's that. It's a strong move, basically. Uh, and it deals a lot of damage to Pokemon in Psychic Terrain. So I combo that with Thievul, who is probably the bread and butter of this team, and I'll explain why in a second here. Uh, but the Thievul is carrying Psychic Seed with the ability Unburden, Snarl, Foul Play, Beat Up, Fake Tears, 244 HP, 12 Special Defense, and 252 Speed with the Timid Nature. I just maxed out the speed with Timid because there were a lot of Pokemon I wanted to catch, but uh, more than anything I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting caught off guard by Porygon Z under Tailwind. Because uh, some of them run modest if they're running Tailwind, so I wanted to at the very least speed tie with Porygon Z. Also, this thing is going to be outpacing just about everything else that's relevant in the format under Tailwind, except for, um, except for like the super fast Pokemon. So, for example, I'm going to be outpacing uh, Venusaur in Sun or uh, Dracovish under Tailwind. Just all those really important Pokemon, just without any boosts whatsoever. This thing is very fast. It's carrying Snarl for uh, lowering the special attack of my opponent's Pokemon, which is really useful when a lot of people are running Sun teams or Rain offense teams. Um, it's really cool because this thing can eat a hit from Charizard super easily with the Psychic Seed boost, the max HP, or the nearly max HP with Special Defense, uh, and the Snarl coming off. Uh, it just eats hits from pretty much everything. Porygon Z is one of my favorite matchups with this team because I just I just wall it. It's such a fun Pokemon to use versus it. Uh, Foul Play is great for one-shotting non-bulky Dragapult, as well as dealing damage to just about anything with a high attack stat or anything that wants to set up on Thievul's face. Uh, Beat Up is great for activating Cobalion, who is another member of the team. I can actually give that uh, plus four attack, which is really dangerous, especially when that thing has such a high speed and the ability to max airstream. And Fake Tears combos especially well with Ndidi here, because if I were to try to run something like Whimsicott Ndidi with Fake Tears, I would end up getting blocked by my own Psychic Train because, you know, they have because Psychic Terrain blocks Prankster moves and anything priority. Uh, so Thievul has this really strange niche of being probably the bulkiest Pokemon uh, to be able to use things like Fake Tears 
uh, in Psychic Terrain. So yeah, uh, it's a really cool Pokemon. Also, it has beat up because it activates my Dragon Bolt's weakness policy, but it's pretty uncommon for me to activate it on my own. I usually just go for a Protect on a max move, and that gets me what I need. But yeah, uh, these two are really, really scary. I really enjoy using them in the format because uh, you can pick up some pretty free KOs. If your opponent decides not to Dynamax on the lead, uh, that makes it so uh, you essentially get two free KOs right off the bat. Uh, you just go for a fake tears and whatever you believe is going to live the expanding force uh, and then you KO it with expanding force because at minus two they're definitely not taking that hit. Uh, even Dynamax Pokemon, Dynamax Cinderace takes like 70% from this thing which is really really gross. Um, and yeah, and I believe Thievul outspeeds Cinderace still even at plus one. I, I can't remember exactly but uh, Thievul because it has double speed I believe outspeeds Cinderace at plus one. Uh, next up we have Cobalion. Cobalion is carrying Bounce, Close Combat, Iron Head Protect, and Life Orb. Life Orb is just to give me a bit extra damage because Thievul's attack stat is pretty, or Cobalion's attack stat is pretty, you know, mid. 80 is not very high. Uh, I decided to go max speed, max attack just because, you know, I want to be able to hit things really hard and uh, I don't want to speed tie with Terrakion, or I would rather speed tie with Terrakion than uh, get outpaced by them and get knocked out and just having max speed on this thing is super, super useful. Uh, also, something that's really cool, I can lead off in DD Thievul against something like, uh, let's say Togekiss and, not Togekiss and uh, Tyranitar, like Togekiss and Incineroar, and usually what they'll do is they'll just go for the Dark type move into my Ndidi, which means that I can actually just immediately switch out my Ndidi for Cobalion and go for that beat up anticipating that, which means that Cobalion ends up taking a Lash Out plus 4 beat up so it's gonna end up getting up to plus five attack which is really really dangerous and from there I usually just win the game since Cobalion outpaces just about everything on the field and the uh, max airstream is gonna be doing nasty damage. Yeah Cobalion an amazing Pokemon that combos with these guys I'm actually really happy I slapped it onto the team. Next up we have Weakness Policy Dragapult, something that can be activated by uh, Thievul with beat up if I want to but it's not common I do it. Uh, I'm running Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Fly, Protect with the Weakness Policy and Clear Body. We have 148 HP, 188 Attack, 92 Defense, 4 Special Defense, 142 Speed with a Jolly Nature. Uh, I believe that the physical bulk was, or the speed, I actually did the speed first, that just allows me to outspeed um, Jolly Max Speed Cinderace. Uh, yeah. And the bulk was uh, in particular to allow me to take a max dragon move from opposing Dragapult and then hit them with a max airstream and then KO them with the following move. So yeah, basically while I'm going to be slower than opposing Dragapult, I can go for a max airstream that first turn after they hit me for a move. It'll be super effective uh, on me and then I'll get my weakness policy, hit them with a plus two max airstream and then outspeed them for the rest of the game by hitting them with other max moves. And it's just a really scary Pokemon overall. If I end up going for a protect versus um, Dynamax Primarina as they go for a max starfall i'll actually go ahead and get my weakness policy and if i go for like an iron head into that on the same turn that i protected uh usually i can actually just re like reverse sweep them by going for dynamax uh going for that max uh phantom force which turns into the max phantasm lowering their defenses and making cobalion a lot more threatening cobalion and dragable are actually just a really really solid lead uh, that i really enjoyed using this format Next up we have Scope Lens Togekiss. Uh, it's a generally bulky Togekiss. It's got just enough speed to outspeed base 75 Pokemon. Uh, and my Gyarados here outspeeds base 75 Pokemon plus one. Or No, that wasn't what it was. I forgot. <laughs> I forget already. Uh, but the Togekiss uh, is going to be outspeeding base 75 Pokemon like Toxtricity, like um, Gyarados. Or not Gyarados. Like, I don't know why I said Gyarados. Like uh, Dracovish. And uh, it's generally just bulky. It's able to take a uh, minus one life orb jolly adamant uh, or life orb jolly iron head from Excador. Sorry if I'm like fumbling on my words here. I'm very tired today. Had a long day uh, and I figured it was fine for me to record this but obviously I'm like fumbling on my words. I need to go to sleep soon. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is a really useful Pokemon. It's mostly supportive. It's mostly supportive, but there were a couple of games where I had to Dynamax it and ended up putting in a lot of work because Scope Lens Togekiss is very scary to face. You go for Max Airstream, it crits, they just continue to Max Airstream, 50% chance to crit each turn. It's a super threatening Pokemon that you see a lot in the format. And being able to follow me away hits from uh, Dragapult in case I didn't want to take them uh, was super useful. Next up we have Gyarados. It's a very bulky set. Um, I forget what the 220 speed was for. I genuinely forget. My apologies, guys. I believe it was also for base 75s or something like that. I cannot remember. <laughs> uh, but this thing is running 92 HP, 172 attack, 
4 defense, 20 special defense, and 220 speed with the Jolly Nature. Bounce, Waterfall, Power Whip, Taunt, Safety Goggles, Intimidate. This was mostly a Pokemon to help me deal with uh, some of the more annoying things in the format. That being Sleep Powder and Spore coming from Amoongus and uh, also Venusaur. So this thing just hard checks G-Max Venusaur. I'm able to, I'm, I have enough special defense where I like get three shot by it when I Dynamax, and it's still offensive enough where I can use this as a legitimate Dynamax Pokemon, but it's mostly there for support. Um, I'm able to max Airstream on those things, and I did end up Dynamaxing this thing quite a few times. It's not as threatening as a Dynamax Pokemon uh, as like my other options are, but this thing is still super good. Uh, being able to avoid Spore and Rage Powder and all those really annoying moves is super cool too. Uh, I was able to taunt a lot of Amoongus this uh, tournament, and I was also able to taunt a lot of Dusclops this tournament, because on the lead, uh, if you end up seeing your opponent go like in like Tyranitar plus... Uh, if you end up seeing your opponent go like Tyranitar plus Dusclops, uh, I end up just going for the taunt and the Dusclops in the lead, because I always live the hit from Tyranitar and or outspeed it. Uh, and I can always lead off like Gyarados, Dragapult, go for the Protect on that first turn and uh, stop their Trick Room altogether. So that was always really fun. Uh, the Power Whip was meant to hit things like Milotic in case I needed to do that, or even uh, in the rare situation that I was Dynamaxed and they had a Rotom Wash. That was super useful to be able to click Max Overgrowth. Uh, bounce for Max Airstream was super useful as well. Uh, overall, I just found the team to be really, really fun. I had a great time using it. Uh, I'll go ahead and I will leave a rental code below if you guys want to try it out. Uh, but this was probably my favorite team of all time and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if I really have much else to say about it. If you guys have any questions about Thievel, you can go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. Have a nice night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.